Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at the uh, cross cluster live migration on AHV and learn how you would live migrate virtual machines uh, between clusters that are either at the same site uh, or at different sites. Let's get started. To save time I've already logged into our Prism Central instances and we're going to live migrate a virtual machine between AHV clusters. Um, we need to pre-set up a uh, protection policy, which I've already done to save time. This protection policy is a synchronous-based protection policy. We'll just expand it. We can see we're protecting from our one cluster to the other cluster, and it's a uh, synchronous level protection. We will close this, and I've already we have two virtual machines as part of this. I've already uh, tagged the VM that we want uh, to migrate and then simply just need to choose to migrate it. Um, now this is a, a bit different approach um, by creating the synchronous replication ahead of time. The benefit is um, is that all the VDisk data is already transferred to the destination cluster. So we're only waiting for the memory state uh, to migrate in these scenarios. Let's find our virtual machine. We will just uh, quickly open a console so that we can see the state of the virtual machine. So we can see it's uh, just a Windows VM and we have the Nutanix web page opened up in it um, just for an example. I'll close this while we migrate and go up and choose to migrate the virtual machine. Now there are two options here. We can migrate within a cluster or we can migrate outside of the cluster. We're going to do the outside because we're doing cross-cluster migration. So we need to select our networks and then choose that we want to live migrate it. And then click the migrate button. And the process kicks off. We will pop over to our other Prism Central instance to look for our virtual machine. We can see that our other virtual machine is here. It's still powered on. We've launched the council, and we can see that our VM has moved from one cluster to the other cluster, uh, live migrated. So our web page is still up, and the state of the VM and the applications running inside of it or exactly as it was while it's on the other cluster. Now, since the VM is part of this protection policy, we can obviously reverse this process should we want to move it back, uh, or we can simply leave it run on the destination cluster.